Hey y'all, I'll be starting my reaction to my Zika Party Episode 1 and I'll be starting my reaction in 1, 0, and go. Alright. I love the way it says on the Zika Party so dramatically. Okay. Sounds good the origins of the game. Wait, so this thing is going to have fantasy elements in? All right. I like how this isn't even subtle about the card game that's actually advertising. I do like that, though. It's like, here you go. We're not even going to try to hide the fact that we're going to be advertising cards for a card game. Kazuto 7th Grader. Hey, at least it's better than how many character in a monologue their freaking name, and it's better than it treating their audiences like a dumbass. So I'll give it some credit for that. <clears throat> I wonder if that's this ace card. Okay, I don't think it doesn't look friendly one bit. <laughs> Thankfully, it's a dream, though. Which I kind of wish they would have uh, not shown him sleeping because if they would not have shown him sleeping, it would have made the scene feel super tense. But now that we know he's dreaming, it gets rid of some of the tension in this scene that it could have had. You know? Okay, I mean, I think it looks cute. Aw, it's fucking adorable. Whoa. That thing's got quite the mouth in it. I like it though. I love how it starts out by being completely out there. Okay, who the world is that woman? Well, it's gonna involve uh, some. Okay, this isn't his first rodeo having that dream. It's making me wonder if at least some of what's going to happen in his dream is going to have some basis in his reality eventually. I mean, I wonder if he's going to be involved in some kind of plot to save the world. Hey, you know what? I do like the music, though. It sounds pretty pleasant. I mean, hey, at least they have some base background character animation. While it's not as pretty as, say, a Vanguard uh, Overdress, it at least looks more proficiently done than, say, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. Zeruru's What, is it a rare card? Is that what could I? Oh, I thought for a second it was a super rare card for a second. Oh, what a tease! I wouldn't be surprised if the guy with the purple hair is a rival. Because he had that edge filled look in his face. <laughs> I love how Kazuna just doesn't give a single fuck and he's just stalking around his friend for the whole day. I am surprised the friend had that much patience. I'd be like, yo, give me my personal space, dude. He's not gonna succeed now, he's gonna jinx himself. It's gonna be it's not gonna be a seven. Oh. Oh. Yep, just like I thought he lost. That'd have been too good to be true if he would have actually won. Aww. Hey, you know, could I change wrong about that? <laughs> oh! Aww. 
got... Ah, oh, pretty much the title of the anime. And saying that, though, when it comes to Magical Party, while the animation's not bad, it lacks a little bit of uh, fine detail because when you see the Magical Party book, you don't see um, writing on some of the pages of the Magical Party book. Some of them just look straight up a blank or empty. Yeah, like right there, or when they were showing some characters in the background, they move sometimes, but you don't see faces uh, drawn like you would in some of the other animes I've seen to start out the season. Still above average, though. Just have to mention that, though. Oh. Yup, definitely the one in his dreams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I like how he's like, uh, dude. <laughs> like with the face that Kodochi made. He's fucking adorable. That card definitely has to show up in his deck eventually. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Yo. Yo, does that make it have some dark elements? Seems like it with the dim um, lighting and some of the sequences we get on occasions. I mean, honestly, though. Now, if he says he's the only wizard that can save the world, I feel like there's ups and downs to that. If he's going to be the only wizard that can save the world, it's going to bring the stakes up for the series. But it's also going to... Sideline a lot of other characters if he's uh, the only one that can save the world. Kind of like Shadowverse where it screwed itself over, where even though, yes, there were seven chosen ones, the only one that freaking mattered was Hero and wasn't the one that did anything irrelevant. Hopefully, it doesn't go that way because I actually like the characters in the first episode so far. Yo, the opening is not bad. Oh, huh. well, everyone party. Yes, okay, I'm actually really liking the opening. Yeah, I actually even likes the um, sound effects they got, too. Can't wait to see the backstory behind that one, because she, honestly, she really looks captivating. Just seeing how she seems to have a heavy and dark backstory. Bichi bachi. You don't like how the creatures here are actually hand drawn. All of the, at least going by the opening, the production for the series looks pretty competent, just off of the impressions I'm getting from it. I mean, hey, he'll get better at the game eventually. <laughs> hey, at least Kodachi's giving the boy his boy a chance. It'll just take three months. I like that type of playfulness. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if you can get Phoenix burn, Phoenix burn when it comes to the special items. Well, hey, you better get on that pronto then. Okay. It's going to be... Oh. Feels like a trap. Oh boy. If it's shut off, he probably shouldn't be going in there. Well, now I can't get out.
Oh, kind of remind me of the old school iPods. Shit, it's been a while since I've seen one of those in animation. <laughs> Yo, is it like he's about to have Arctic? Hey? Huh? That explains why there's no one else around that area then. It looks like a microphone. Or even a... Like the base part of a lightsaber. Huh. I just hope that thing isn't stolen though. That'd be absolutely cold if it was stolen. Yo. Where the fuck did it go to? Unless that. Whoa, 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 hold the fuck up. Wait, does. Um... So that means Jeff Jones might potentially be a wizard then if he was there in a single spot, then he just. Teleported instantaneously like that. That's my gut feeling. I could be wrong on that. But considering some of the characters are magical origins, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest that that ended up being the case. Kind of looks like it could be a. Okay, it's definitely not a flute. Oh boy. I wonder if that's going to end up being his opposition because. Oh yeah, it has to be, especially with that glowing dark aura. So that's really like a dragon screech there. Okay, it's like seems like he's the only one that can see those beans and it can't be anyone else. <laughs> Let's hope you didn't skip any um P classes in the school. You know, with all that running, I'm surprised he's not even sweating or dripping in sweat. Oh, okay, okay, at least you see a sweat strand there. <laughs> so like he got big slapped by one of those creatures. Yeah, that's some good English. So wait, is he gonna start summoning Magicka party cards? Okay, looks like he's about to go into a freaking dance hall. I like how it says, let's get party started, while the translation is just, let's get the party started. <laughs> Where are the yeah from like everyone else coming from though? I love how this is absolutely cheesy and he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, he's gonna be careful. He's gonna fall off and die before he has a chance to save anything or save himself. Oof. I'm so. Oh. I hope he can actually project a car to save his life, or something like that. Oh, it's actually saying something, aside from, yeah! Okay, how is he doing it that pulls perfectly in the air if he's falling? <laughs> I would expect him to be doing it simultaneously like this. They definitely could have used some better storyboarding there. 
Because here, it looks like he's staying on something. I'm assuming they're going to use this bank animation a fuckload of times. Sounds like electronic dance music. Oh! At least now that we get know where he gets his mask, got a partner from. At least now we have a name to actually put behind Bologna, finally. Because I actually like this character design. Fine, Fine Burn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wants more than just that, though. Probably wants to know the details and all that kind of jazz. Although, whatever he hits a sharp object, wouldn't that cause a lot of pain, though? I highly doubt that. I think it's just by luck. Well, yeah, I mean, it comes with the territory as a freaking balloon. <laughs> He'd be in their head. And that is a good point. I like how he became so fucking cocky the moment he said that. I wouldn't want to hit something like that. I know I wouldn't. Whoa! <laughs> kind of reminds me of um. I remember when he's choking Bart. Imagine he kissed He just killed Melania. <laughs> what a bastard! Oh. I mean, I guess that explains what happened if we were to hit a needle that can just regenerate. <laughs> I like a blind doesn't even sleep when normally I'd ask to make that cowy as fuck noise too for good measure. Or I like how he's going straight to serious business there. Jeez! I mean, at least they, didn't, they weren't hitting the balls when it comes to those shoes. I mean, at least it isn't something completely and utterly dangerous, though. At least it ain't knives moving or something fucked up of that nature. <laughs> God, I mean, even though, yes, yeah, some of the humor is a bit, um... Is it predictable? I actually got a chuckle out of it at the very least. I do like how every single time he does that transformation into his wizard form, it always sounds like it's about to be a dance off. Damn, that was easy! How was that? Oh, okay, at the very least, there's actually some struggle. Okay, this is what he probably the back cheesy one. <laughs> okay, shouldn't her boy be helping the now? I am surprised Bologna isn't popping out after all those hits. Yeah, honestly, you should have said that sooner. Belani would have suffered less pain. I 
I love how he's super fucking into it, too. No, seriously, this series has some pretty late OSTs, and it's just the first episode. Did anyone explain like once though? No, I don't think they have to explain it multiple times. That's the thing I don't like about this series off of the first episode so far. I, there's some things I like, but I don't like how they give exposition and then they make the characters say exposition again. Good enough, I feel like they don't respect their audience and some bits in the episode. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the trumpet noises were necessary. It makes it more cheesy. Kind of reminds me of Pokemon where you can't capture a Pokemon in a Pokeball unless you weaken them first. Kind of gives me them vibes. Oh, Anya. Okay, I hope she gives more answers than that, though, because the way she's talking to Kazuto, it's super freaking vague. Whoa, 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 what the- Wait, is the world already gonna end in the series? <laughs> what the fuck? Or maybe he'll be transported into another world temporarily. That's gotta be it. I don't think they're gonna just murk everything on the earth in this setting on the first episode. They fought the party. I like how the thing in the head kinda looks like a disco ball. I'm assuming those are gonna be the mascots that... That are gonna be captured on the next few episodes. Three. Yo, they ain't bad either. Alright. Even though I've got my few reservations about this series from a narrative standpoint, the open ED are fucking good and the music is fucking good too. I'll give it credit for that. Studio Don Juan. Interesting studio name. Don Juan. Okay. I like that scroll when it's cute. As far oh, so it's called uh, Seven Billion Dots. As for the 80 itself, well, yes, it does a lot of the basic stuff you see from an 80, just having a lot of stills. The track really makes up for it, and I do like some of the creatures dancing, so it gives it at least a bit of creativity. Versus your conventional anime ED. Bologna? Is it gonna be him? Yep, had a feeling. That's how it usually is in the first episodes. They usually spotlight the Trump part of the main protagonist in card game anime. I love how someone with Edge. He actually did. He almost fell off the fucking building. I like Giga Neko Punch. It sounds so damn badass. Okay, why is that information necessary? <laughs> Oh, okay, that explains a lot. The PD looks pretty fun. Oh, it's actually nice to see him go to the other world there. I'm assuming the guy with the beard's gotta be the principal, because he looks like a bat, like a badass, like one of those old badass characters that usually have secrets, but then when it comes to showtime, they show out. Feels that way. Now, if I had to rate a Magicka Party episode one on a scale of one to ten, I'll give it a solid 
if I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, with the 1 being abysmal, 5 being average, and 10 being exceptional, I'll give it a solid 5 out of 10 because the reason why I can't give it anything higher than a 5 out of 10 is because it had some things where sometimes the humor was too simple, like when they were hitting the shoes and it hit our main protagonist. felt like when it came to this specific episode, while I do like slapstick humor, I feel it reacted, it relied on that too much. I feel it would have been better if they had a variety of humor. There was some humor that was creative, like when he was trying to just choke the out of the balloon. Yeah, that was hilarious. But I definitely feel like it needs more humor variety. Hopefully it gets to that in episode two. But overall, there were moments that were good, moments that were bad. Mostly, though, I enjoyed mo most of the things it had. And I liked the plot progression. At least he was able to gather two cards in a singular episode. You'll find see Onya Mi Kizuru at the very least. And I think Kazuto is a decent protag so far. Nothing that makes me dislike him, nothing that makes him love him. I'm pretty much neutral towards him so far. And I like that. At least it's better than me absolutely hating the character like I did when I um, watched certain card game animes. I'm not going to name any. <laughs> Shut up! Yeah, that. So that's why I think that is a positive. The visuals were good and the music was amazing. And I love the opening ED. So that's how I better rate this on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm definitely going to give this a 5 out of 10 for average, because even though it was flawed, there was enough for me to want to actually watch the second episode. But 